Okay, we come now to the one that they've all been waiting for, the yes. final of the under 73 kilo category. Hashimoto Soichi of Japan goes up against teammate Ebinuma Masashi. It'll be Hashimoto in the white jodogi, Ebinuma in blue. Referee in the middle for this one is Orlando Cruz of the Dominican Republic. Annette, you've been waiting for this one too. Take absolutely, it, absolutely. Take it away. And uh, so difficult to say. But I'm so I was so impressed today from Ebinuma. We will see. <laughs> what we know is that it is so important and the Japanese athletes here are so much under pressure in regard to the qualification for the Olympics. I don't want to change with them now. <laughs> so... We will see. Two thousand seventeen world champion against three times world champion. This, yeah, oh this, my this, God. this <laughs> contest offers up a real, a real challenge here, a real problem for the Japanese. What do you do if Hashimoto smashes Ebinuma? He walks away with the gold medal at the Osaka Grand Slam and is still biting at the heels. Mm -hmm of Ono Shoe, who is the supreme athlete as yeah. far as the Japanese are concerned. He couldn't possibly be unseated. And we Could don't he? We don't need to forget, Sheldon. In this category, there's also another one who's on the top and who's not competing this weekend. No, no, that's, that's what I mean. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, you're not going to unseat Ono Shoei. He is the, yes. the the total supreme uh, athlete. Yeah, I, is he? What happens if Hashimoto smashes Ebinuma here? And you have to send Hashimoto to other events like Paris, Dusseldorf, the Masters. You know, and he he keeps doing it. He is so far ahead, isn't he, Ono Shoei? That it really doesn't matter what Hashimoto does here. It's not going to unseat Ono Shoei. No. But the thing is, Ebinuma is in the third place and he got really absolutely less points no. when you compare to Hashimoto and Ono. Out what happens it. if Ebinuma yeah. wins? What happens if Ebinuma wins here? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. You know, the, 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 <laughs> the man in the driving seat here is Ono Shoei. Yes. What will happen, however, if Hashimoto <laughs> wins here is he will overtake yeah. Okay. Oh no. On the ranking list. Will that make a difference? Not really. They'll still want to send Ono Shoe as the reigning world champion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's what happens if they go to the next set of tournaments, the Masters and things like that, and Hashimoto wins. So here it, 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 it doesn't matter for Ebinuma. Ebinuma, you know, safe face, you know, old boy smacks a young one around. No problem at all. It's, it's all down to Hashimoto. Hashimoto has got to take this. Yeah. And he's got to take it looking good. He can't sneak it. Hashimoto believes in himself. He really believes in himself. So he has to take this in order to keep pace with Ono and after that when he heads him on the ra on the world ranking list he can then claim something by saying well if you sent me to the world championships I'd have won as well you know I don't know yeah maybe <laughs> mm. 
missed that attack. Yeah, and even if Iminuma is really far away, but still, it's pressure. I think the the, the problem came when they didn't send Hashimoto to the, the, the World Championships in the individuals. They kind of removed the opportunity for him to, to make a mark. It, it, he didn't have that chance. You know, he had, he had that r removed from him. The only opportunity that he's got now is to do things as, he, as he's attempting to do here. If they send him somewhere, he's got to win. Can't afford to have a slip. And he did have a slip when they sent him to uh, Brazil. That was a fair gesture yeah. from Ebinuma. <laughs> he had a slip when he went to Brazil. He lost in the semi-final mm. there yep. to Musa Magushkov. And that was a setback. Because had, had he taken the gold medal there, then we would be having less of a conversation now because he would be the number one. From the Japanese, anyway. Never mind, he can do it here. Got to get past Ebinuma first. Can't do it in normal time. We're going to need golden score to sort this one out. Yeah. Just the kind of opponent that Hashimoto didn't want. Extremely experienced, knows him, you know, well enough to cause him real problems. Absolutely. Would have loved to have had someone that he could have just banged over <laughs> oh and, you <yes>. know, <laughs> showboated a little bit and said, hey, look, I'm here. You can't ignore me. Emanuma could prove to be a bit of a spoiler here. Oh, almost countered. <laughs> well, he countered someone earlier on with the Ashi, was it, didn't he? Who was it that he caught? Was it Basile that he put away yes, with the foot sweep? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Also at the edge oh, of the match. Oh, lost contact with the hands there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ebenuma's given him real problems. Penalty picked up by Hashimoto for a, a gripping infringement. It was actually gripping the wrist only. A little stab at Kouchi. It's the second time he's knocked him, mm. if you know what I mean. He's just you know, rattled Eben Umar on a couple of occasions. One with the Ashi was a here and now with yeah. that Koji. So he's good with his feet. His Hashimoto. Nice timing. We saw that earlier on when he caught the Olympic champion at under sixty six kilos, Fabio Basile, threw him for Wazari with some Ashi was up. Yeah, good, good effort from yes. Ebinuma. Hashimoto, I think, had that covered, although it looked a little bit closer than it may have been. Looked a little bit more dangerous than it may have been, I should say. But I think Hashimoto had that defended. Ended up in the end looking not desperate, but it was a big lunge there. Yeah. As he tried to catch Hashimoto. Let's see what Hashimoto comes back with. Thought about going for the Koshigaruma, but they slipped the head. And then that Makikomi that could have emerged from it, well, that disappeared very quickly.
Well, he really doesn't let him go there from the edge. Controls him. Yeah, good pressure. Not left, not right. He keeps him there in the corner. Mm -hmm. Hashimoto needs to get a, a new blue gi. The white one is his. It's got branded and got his name on and everything. But he, when he came out in the blue gi, it was an IJF one. So he needs to get himself a new blue gi. <laughs> <laughs> Three minutes of golden score we've had. Nothing really between the pair. Ashimoto just beginning to look the more threatening of the two. He's had a couple of stabs at some Ashi Waza that have just un unsettled Ebenuma. I'd like to see him come up with a determined big effort, either with the Seonagi or possibly the Uchimata. Oh yeah, he's trying to use that chance, throwing him on the one ha arm, or with the one arm. Nakimoto has been called for Hansoku Make with Waki Gatami before. Don't think so, that it was, in no. my opinion, no, uh, no because not it was not, not against the, yeah. the outside from the arm, it was... And in any case, it was after the attempted throwing action, that one. The pressure on the arm came after that. But he has been called for that little Koji again that just has yep. Ebinuma turning onto his front to avoid getting caught. And now it's Ebinuma who picks up the yeah. Shido Court passivity. Shimoto, to me, just seems the more aggressive yes. of the pair at the moment. Yeah, and it changed. Oh, I thought there was a chance for the pickup there. Sumigeshi, no, blocked by Ebinuma. And now Hashimoto having to defend on the ground. Oh, he's caught. Yeah. Osai Komi, is he strong enough to get him over he's only got a couple of seconds to do. he's not going to do it 10 seconds is enough for the wazari a single slip by Hashimoto Soichi and it is Ebenuma Masashi who's going to take the gold medal here